Hi, my name's Maddie. I work here at Farley Hospice in the Yo-Yo Bereavement Team, supporting children and their families affected by bereavement and loss. So I want to talk to you today about changes that you might have noticed in your child's behaviours or in their play since the coronavirus pandemic started. So part of my job is I am a play therapist. So I'm very used to dealing with big emotions, difficult situations, meeting children who are often in a high level of distress um, due to changes that might have occurred in life or difficult things that might be going on for them. So how play therapists help children is they help them to express themselves in a way that they can play out their experience rather than having to use words to describe what's happening for them. And this is really because for children it can be quite hard to verbalise verbalise their feelings and the things that are going on around them. Usually their natural form of communication is by playing out their experiences. Which is why you might have noticed things being slightly different with your child and their play since they've maybe been at home more, since they've been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. And I want to reassure you that it's really normal to have noticed those changes. And I'm sure that there's lots of people out there at the moment who are maybe a little bit concerned about some of the things that they might have seen their child play or they might have talked about with their child. So play is really important because it helps children to develop language, it helps them to communicate, it helps them to express themselves and it's really the way that they experience the world, the way that they can process things that have happened to them. So if your child is at home and they're playing with Lego or dolls or various other toys, um, creative materials, that's a really positive thing because they're having an opportunity to express themselves. You might feel a little bit concerned, however, if you've noticed that your child is suddenly drawing pictures of things that seem quite violent or aggressive, or it might be that they're doing lots of play around hospitals and doctors and nurses and wanted to play with a doctor's kit more often and things like that. It might be that you've noticed that they've been doing a lot of superhero based play and around things being quite difficult. It might be that you've noticed your child playing out themes of death or perhaps asking more questions about death and dying. And for a lot of parents, that can feel quite uncomfortable or quite difficult. Um, I know that a lot of children are really curious about death and so they will play out those experiences or ask the people around them. But for those of us who spend a day-to-day -day time with our children, it can seem really strange that all of a sudden they're playing out themes of death in their play. And obviously we know that children do play out their experiences, so it's really normal if they've heard things on the news, if they've spoken to friends, if they know somebody that might have had coronavirus or might have sadly died during this time, that they might be exploring some of those feelings through their play and ultimately playing out some of those experiences, whether that be with a positive outcome, so the person surviving or the superhero being able to come in and help the situation, or whether that be sadly the characters dying or things kind of ending on maybe a not very nice place and so that's really normal we expect that children are gonna feel different during this time so what I want to say is I have three top tips that I would really advise you try your best to stick to during this time obviously we're all in a difficult situation everything's changed including our service as you can probably tell I'm working out of my office today my three top tips would be, number one, if you can, try and stick to a routine. Routines are really important for children. They are feel safe and contained by having that routine and knowing that actually, even though they're not going to school in the morning, they're going to get up at this time and have their breakfast at this time and they're going to maybe do a little bit of work and then have an opportunity to have some screen time or do some playing or, or whatever it is that your routines allow and is normal in your family. So I would say routines, number one, if you can stick to them, that will really help your child to feel safe and contained during this difficult time. Number two, 
don't stop your child from playing. So remember that even though they might be changing their play, things might be coming out around death and things that seem a little bit violent or strange to you, it's really important that they can express that in a healthy way to them. And actually, if they're getting that out through their play, that might be that they're making sense of what's going on and that actually they don't want to behave like that or they don't want to you know, hurt anybody, but they're kind of thinking about actually how things around them are changing. So if you can, keep allowing your child to be doing free play. If you're really worried about it and you want to be involved, what I would say is ask your child if you can get involved in the game. Allow them to direct the game in whatever way. Um, so that might be them giving you a certain character to play. Um, but ask if you can get involved. Ask if you can have a go as well. So that actually you're involved in that game. You feel as though you are maybe able to support them if there's some difficult feelings around death or sadness there but also you can kind of I guess get to know what it is that they're playing out and be part of that experience for them and number three remember that it's really normal at this time for your child's play and behaviors to maybe change a little bit we're all out of our normal kind of day-to-day -day things um, children are mostly at home and not really at school they might be doing more playing than they would normally do they might be spending less time with their friends so remember it's really normal to have noticed those changes and it doesn't mean that there's anything really horrible going on for them it just might mean that they're curious about the things going on in their world at the moment.